All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power 4 is equal to x to the power 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 4 here as 2 times 2. So now I have x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2 is equal to x to the power 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, I have a to the power of 2 times 2, so I can rewrite this as x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And this is equal to x to the power of 4. Now I'm going to subtract x to the power of 4 on both sides. So now I have x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. And x to the power of 4, I'm going to rewrite this as the same thing x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x minus 4 squared, and b is x squared. So now I have x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared. And x minus 4 squared, that's simply equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So I have this plus x squared. And over here, I have x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared. So in this case, these two cancel out. And in this case, these two add up. So I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times negative 8x plus 16. Remember, this is all equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I add 8x on both sides, so I get 16 is equal to 8x, meaning x is equal to 2. Now for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. So now to find the value of this equation, I have to use the quadratic formula, which I'm not going to waste your time, guys' time by doing. But if you end up solving it, you get x is equal to 4 plus or minus. Or sorry, you get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. So that's two more solutions. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 16, which is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2, is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 4. So I have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So for x squared minus 4 equals 0, I'm going to write 4 here as 2 squared. So now I have x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now remember that if we have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 2. So I have x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this, again, gives me two equations. I have x plus 2 equals 0, and I have x minus 2 equals 0. So for x plus 2 equals 0, x equals negative 2. And for x minus 2 equals 0, x equals positive 2. So these are two solutions of x. Now for x squared plus 4 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 4. Now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 4, that's the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. 
the square root of 4 is 2, and if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative 2i. So these are another two solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite 6 here as 3 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 3 times 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 3 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal y. So now I have y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm actually going to factor this out. So y squared minus y minus 2, this is the same thing as y squared minus 2y plus y minus 2, because negative 2y plus y, that's negative y. And now if I factor out y, I get y times y minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 2, I have y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. Meaning y is equal to either 2 or negative 1. Now remember how we set x to the power of 3 equal to y. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2, and I have x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So first off, for x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1, I'm actually going to start by adding 1 on both sides. So I have x to the power of 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is the same thing as x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I have x plus 1 is equal to 0, meaning x is equal to negative 1. So this is one solution of x. And I have x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And if you actually go ahead and plug this into the quadratic formula, I'm actually not going to waste your time, guys' time and do that. You should get 1 plus or minus the square root of negative, sorry, the square root of 3i over 2. So these are two more solutions of x. Now, Right here, I have x to the power of 3 equals 2. This is pretty straightforward. All I have to do is take the cube root on both sides. So I have the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of 2. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is x. And the cube root of 2, that's simply, we just keep it in that form. So I have x is equal to the cube root of 2.